What is going on guys? Welcome to your 28th C++ tutorial and in this tutorial as you can see I'm going to talk to you guys about something called default arguments. So of course we're going to be building a function that takes a couple arguments and a default argument is basically exactly what it sounds like. You know how we can have a function to like calculate the area of something and then the user would need to enter arguments like length and another value for width well they can either enter the values explicitly or we can have a default value already in that function so let me go ahead and we'll build a really basic function here just to demonstrate this point so let's go ahead and calculate the volume of uh... just something a box or something and so we have three arguments or three parameters int length int width and int height so we can go ahead and make this function right now and well let's actually go ahead and make this function right now go ahead and copy this and under main make sure you're not in main when you make this go ahead and paste it and to calculate the volume in case you don't know it's just length times width times height so now we can go ahead and call this function see out volume and the user can enter three values like four, five, and five. So this should go ahead and print out 100 because four times five is 20, 20 times five is 100. So the volume of this box is 100. So all right, we have you know just a regular function here with three values or three parameters that it takes. And the user goes ahead and passes in those values and it calculates it perfectly but in order to add default arguments or default parameters here's what you do in your function prototype right here instead of just having you know the variable type and a variable you can go ahead and set these equal to something automatically like one uh... we'll just set them equal to one right now so if a box is one by one by one we can go ahead and assume that well it's basically this if the user doesn't enter any values explicitly then it's going to use those default values of one one and one so whenever we call this function without any values check it out it gives us the value of one because a box one by one by one has volume of one now let's go ahead and say that the user enters a number like five okay so the user enters a number like five and it gives us the value of five but you're saying all right so does that function use that 5 for length, width, or height? Well, when a user enters one value and you have a function that has three default values, the computer is automatically going to assume that you meant 5 equals the first parameter, or 5 for length. So if you go ahead and run this again, we get 5. That's because it's 5 by 1 by 1. So if you go ahead and enter something like 5, and six, the user is automatically gonna, or excuse me, the computer is gonna assume that you meant five for length, six for width, and by default height was one. So the only thing you're really overwriting is length and width. So it's basically the rule is this: you can have a function that has default values, and by default it's going to use those values unless the user overwrites it with values of its own whenever the user does overwrite it with values of its own it's going to pass them in in order of which it received them so if it passes in one number it's going to replace the default value for that number if you pass in two numbers it's going to replace the second value for that number right there and if you just pass in two numbers it's going to of course keep that same default value of one for the last one so you get thirty for your value so of course I just want to point out that you can you know go ahead and add three values if you want but you know what's the point of having default values if you're just gonna have three parameters you're gonna pass in anyways so basically that is how you have a function that uses default arguments in other words default parameters and one other thing that people typically mess up you only have to put the default value in your function prototype right here whenever you create the function in the function body itself down here you don't put the values down here because you already saying alright if I don't explicitly pass in any values I want to use these as defaults so you don't need to retype it right here so people get this wrong a lot 
So don't forget to, uh, you know, just remember that simple rule. So now you understand the basics of having default values in your function, why they are useful, and how you can pass in a different number of functions like 6 or 6 and 5 or 6 and 5 and 7, and it would all work fine. Basically, whatever you pass in, it replaces the rest with the default values. So that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial. Hopefully you understand. If you don't, just go ahead and ask me one of the questions on my forum, thenewboston.com slash forum, and I will be more than happy to answer it for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.